I am Dr. Lynn. I'm Oprah Davidson. I am Gideon. I am Mark. And we are Baker, Baker, Baker Media, Media Influencers. Influencers. Hello, Bakers. My name's Mark Florka, and I'm a Bakerpedia influencer. As you can see by my dusty countertop here, I've been busy doing some baking. I got some ideas, and I was thinking about top taste crispy onions. And so I took these onions, and I put some ideas together for you. Um, I had a great bit, deal of fun putting all of this together, and I'm looking forward to cutting it open for you and tasting it now. Um, first of all, one of the things I have is a nice traditional country style laminated biscuit. And I just took a very basic biscuit dough and made them fabulous biscuits. Uh, these biscuits I added 20% uh, of the flour weight in crispy onions right into the mix. Now imagine, you just take the onions right out of the bag, throw it into the dough, no pre-soaking, nothing. No standing over the stove for 45 minutes caramelizing onions, just throw them into the mix. And then they break open and we have all these lovely onions inside. Have a look at that. Can you see all of that? These beautiful onions, right? And it just smells delicious, right? Just absolutely delicious. Mmm. These are so good. All we need is some sausage gravy now, and that would be fantastic. Next over here, um, what I did is again simply adding onto the dough. No pre soaking. 1% of the flour weight is garlic powder, and 10% of the dough weight is crispy onions. And just mix it right into the dough. And I just did some, some different shapes. Here I did five little balls, and here I did a, a Kaiser style knot. And I'm going to slice this open for you so we can see we have nice lots of the caramelized onions throughout the bun. It's just gorgeous, right? And the nice garlic flavor. Oh, yeah. We're doing this. A friend of mine is doing this. We're going to do this with some pork belly and a nice poached egg and hollandaise sauce and that's going to be a nice tasty breakfast bun. We're, I'm looking forward to that. Um, now I saved my favorites to last. This is croissant dough. So of course uh, laminated dough. Where do we add the onions? Once again no pre-soaking required. Just take the onions right out of the bag and what I did is I added 10% of the flour weight in onions and half a percent of the flour weight in thyme, dry thyme, and mix those together. And at the last lamination layer, I spread the crispy onions into the dough for the last fold, as it's called, right? Um, so that it gets folded into the lamination. And here I've made some ham and cheese croissants, cheddar cheese, and black wrapped in black forest ham inside crispy onion and thyme croissanto. So let's check it out. Let's have a look at this. Isn't this delicious? Look at the cheese and the ham inside and you can see the you can maybe see the onions kind of laminated through the dough. Uh, let me slice it halfway as well for you just so we can see all of that. And you can see the cheese and the ham isn't that gorgeous? Oh, a nice buttery onion croissant. Oh. Sorry, I shouldn't talk with my mouth full, but this is so good. This is awesome. Very tasty. Two thumbs up, I have to say. The thyme is just a nice hint of it. It's not overpowering, not too floral. Just complements the, the cheese and the ham nicely. Um, and so I wanted to do another shape besides the standard ham and cheese and so I took some Danish style shapes using the croissant dough and put a little bit of uh, grated Havarti cheese, the black forest ham and then I put some more Havarti cheese and I took some mushrooms and sliced them up a little bit, salt and pepper, 
little bit of olive oil and balsamic vinegar and toss that and put them on top. And that is where we have these Danish style, these croissant pockets with mushrooms and cheese. Right? Um, and this is just a fabulous way to, say, to serve a nice savory snack. And you can see the layers of the, the onions, the ham, the cheese and everything. It's just gorgeous, right? Um, and so this is all so easy to do these things just utilizing the top taste crispy onions. Um, so easy to use. These can be on salads and sandwiches. You can see they're just nice and free flowing um, and dry. And they do add a little bit of fat to your uh, nutritional panel, um, but they are so key. You can eat them straight out of the bag. They're just lovely. I just, I just store them in a container for easier grabbing um, here in my home kitchen. So that's what I have for you today, folks. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, stay tuned for more ideas from the Bakerpedia influencers. And remember, my name's Mark Florka, and I'm a Bakerpedia influencer.